I guess I would just ask that it would seem as if San Diegans have been overwhelmingly behaving uh, over the past few weeks. Uh, businesses have, you know, followed the rules. People have been wearing masks. They've been social distancing. But it seems like the best we can do is stay in the red tier. Is there anything else that you're seeing, any other areas that the public can improve in to really move us into that orange orange tier? Because it seems like those case rates, even though they've declined slightly, um, there's still a lot of work to do. So what other areas uh, can people improve in, can the county as a whole improve in to get us into the orange tier? Okay, Dr. Wooden's going to respond. Well, I know we sound like a broken record, but the strategies, really those are, are they're simple, but they are tried and true, and we are seeing the evidence uh, and the impact that these best practices have, even uh, as we enter the flu season, uh, with the number of influenza-like illnesses showing up in the emergency room. While a large number of the community uh, is definitely adhering, there are some individuals and some groups, some businesses, uh, that are not. So we ask that all businesses uh, hold their clients and their patrons accountable. Uh, we ask that individuals adhere to these guidances. We ask that people not have uh, large parties. Uh, that's one factor uh, that has been uh, pervasive throughout this pandemic. Having parties, uh, particularly renting Airbnbs or in your backyard, all of those, those matters those factors, those actions, those behaviors, all of them matter. And if people will just, and I know there's fatigue, I certainly understand that. But as we've also stated, this is a marathon, it is not a sprint. And by practicing these behaviors for a few weeks and then stopping it, it sends us into the yo-yo uh, situation as well. So this is a, a, will have to become a way of life until vaccines uh, are available. So thank you.